Welcome back to Marywood After Dark. Looks like we're starting a trend here because as you guys can see, I'm starting the show by myself. So are you going to join me or are you going to spend the entire time eating the entire pie of pizza at once? We're starting? I mean, I'm kind of already doing the intro. Oh, okay. Are you okay? I'm... Did you eat? You hungry? Why You're giving you me a little toot over there. All right, listen. Did you eat? Sounds like a car horn. Like, did you eat? Like, did you eat? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. I got some potato chips. I don't eat potato chips. All right, well, I got a whole tray of pizza for us. Did you eat? What, what's a tray of pizza? This. No. What do you mean, what's a tray of pizza? This it was is what a, a tray of pizza is. This is what a tray of pizza is. It was a circle. That means it's a pie of pizza. Okay, no. This See, just we proves that New Jersey is better than Pennsylvania. You right the fact that you call this a tray of this pizza. This is ridiculous, Ashton. I can't believe this. <laughs> It's a tray of pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first co-host fight. You experiencing it live. Listen, it's a tray of pizza. No, it's not. It's a pie you of pizza. You make it in a tray. Okay, but it's in a circle. Listen, Asher. It's a as, pie. For as long as Have you ever seen a square pie? For like as long as you're going to live in any PA, I want you to call it a tray of pizza. No, I'm not changing my New Jersey ways. I don't shift from my roots. Jersey? Like the Jersey Shore? We're going to Jersey Shore. Oh my God, New Jersey isn't only known for the Jersey Shore. There's a lot of other things to do. Whatever. So, you have a part of your tray of pizza on your face. How do I look? I mean, I guess you look fine. Thank you. All right. So I'm Erin. Uh, the last episode we didn't really introduce ourselves, but as you may know, I am from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm a digital media major. I'm a sophomore, and I met Ashlyn last semester. And then we we're like, let's do this show. So that's how that started. Sick and. I'm Ashlyn Jess. I'm from New Jersey, as you all figured out, which is the better state. And I am a member of the women's soccer team here at Marywood, also a digital media major. And like Erin said, you play soccer? No. OK. Nice, nice flex shirt then. <laughs> Thanks, my roommate. Like, well, you didn't play last, so I don't know. All right, just because I took a semester off and I redshirted doesn't mean I don't play. Oh, yeah, hashtag concussion. Hashtag concussion, <laughs> All exactly. Right. <laughs> All right, so tonight we have Alexis Barcy on the show. Alexis is a local artist from Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. Alexis is a glassblower, makes her own jewelry, and is a photographer. She's a fellow burrito technician at Chipotle. We sit down with Alexis next. Stay tuned, guys. Alvin and the Chipmunks want to remind you, bacteria can hide in food and make you ill. Wow. But you can keep bacteria from ruining your day with four simple steps. Clean. I'm waiting for the rinse cycle. Separate. <laughs> cook. Fire in the hole. And chill. We chipmunks are notoriously tidy. Check your steps. The road chip to food safety starts at foodsafety.gov. This is awesome. the things you've done with your bike, donating it to Goodwill may be the most incredible of all. Your donations help fund job placement and training for people in your community, which means your stuff can be more powerful than you think. Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, babe. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. This is the story of a boy who is very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. 
One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help, and slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat. Ugly. Disgusting. The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, I am a witness and so are you. Welcome back to the show. I'm joined with one of my good friends, Alexis Barcia. Welcome to the show, Alexis. We're happy to have you. Yes, yeah, like, happy to be here. so I met you at Chipotle, yes. and I just thought you were so interesting. And like, every time I talk to you, like, you have so much to like share with the world, I feel like. Like, you just have so much knowledge about so many different things. I think it's really mm -hmm. interesting. So I was like, I need to have Alexis on the show. And plus, you're just awesome. You're an artist and like, I mean, that's so cool. Thank you. So to start off, why don't you tell us about yourself? Yeah, so I mean, I work at Chipotle with Aaron. I mean, <laughs> we have a great time for like over a year now, mm -hmm. I feel like. And um, yeah, I started out doing photography and basically I, I, it happened to by accident, kind of, it just like fell in my lap. I just did it for fun and then people just started asking me. And then from there, I just, I, I was only doing photography for a couple of years and I was like, oh, well, I want to expand and do like more art. Cause you know, yeah. when you're doing the same thing all the time, kind of need something else. So I got into glass too and that was kind of on accident too. I didn't like search these things out and so yeah my main things are just like photography and glass and I love food and stuff you know any kind of art creation yes. that's why I love like learning too that's why I love like talking to you mm -hmm. and I mean not everyone's so like receptive <laughs> to like all the things we talk about so yeah. like it is fun you gotta you have a good have time like an open mind I yeah like yeah open mind like it's really important yeah do you wanna yeah. Okay. And what made you interested in making jewelry? Because Aaron told me that's what you do mainly when yes. you for glass. So yes. what brought that on? Well, I guess it's like I love just simple additions to outfits and stuff. Nothing like too loud or crazy. So that's why I love doing like chains or like okay. little pieces, like anything miniature yeah. to just like accent things. And I just I love small stuff. So I guess jewelry just like yeah, coincides like with that. Fit that really well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and That's it's really like cool. I would make them without like pendant loops or anything, mm -hmm. and then I would just kind of like have them as desk ornaments. And then yeah. I just collected too many desk <laughs> ornaments, and I'm like, I should probably I make need to do something with all these. Something, yeah. <laughs> too many paperweights on the desk. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> it's like how many could you have? So the bracelets that you're wearing right now, they're like my favorite thing. Yeah, like, I'm gonna buy one from you eventually, but um, they're so cool. And can you explain what is the process yeah, to making something like I, that? How long does it take? Well, so I, I averaged it, it's about 10 minutes a link, and I hand oh, wow. sculpt every link. And oh, I also wow. like make the little la uh, clasps so that wow. it's all made out of glass and stuff. So I basically just have like my torch right in front of me, and I have like little rods of glass, and I melt them down. And it has to be like so like perfectly symmetrical that's basically like what i'm doing half the time is okay. just like focusing on symmetry oh yeah like yeah everything that's has probably to hard be, though it is like that's when the whole like unfun part of art yeah. comes in the whole discipline the perfection the, See, excuse me, perfection, the perfection yeah yeah, yeah where you're like driving yourself crazy and you'll be like that's perfect and you'll still see something wrong with it like i can imagine like you have to have a lot of patience too which yeah, is something that i don't have you have to have. learn patience <laughs> yeah. like i swear yeah like honestly like i feel like just like I don't know. That's yeah, because it's a lot, so actually. tiny and intricate. Because like, like you were saying with the, um, you took a glass class before, and it was like the big, it was the big hole. Yeah, yeah, and you do the that's ornaments. You, like, yeah, and people are like more used to that. But I mean, I guess I just like do all the tiny, yeah, tiny yeah. little things. So then I'm like straining myself <laughs> and like looking have, like that. Have you ever been to Corny Museum of Glass? Yes. Okay. Cool. It is because I think that place is amazing. It's so amazing. It's there. just a museum of glass. It's and like it's bigger than you'd think. It is. Like, I made like, like a, a glass museum. ornament once. Oh, that was cool. Yes. That's kind of sick. That's what I did. Mine was <laughs> yeah. in this guy's house from one of the neighboring towns oh. has like they turn their garage into like a glass blowing. Yes, that's like, actually artist. how I did really? it. Yeah, okay. I just like so makeshift cool. a garage. Yeah, yeah, they makeshift a garage and there's a giant like that's oven where really we cool. made the ornaments and I have no idea what the process was. I don't remember it at all. But yeah. all I know is I spun like a giant rod with the end of the glass and yes. the guy pumped like air into it so it blew up 
It's my mom's favorite ornament. Yeah, like, what do you need to do this? Well, so that's, like, funny, too, because everything I make is, like, cute and colorful. Yeah. And when I was setting up my studio, I'm like, this is the most industrial stuff that I have to do. I have to get, like, a huge oxygen tank. Yeah. And I have to get, like, a regular propane tank. That's the easiest thing, just, like, that you yeah. put in a grill. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have my torch, which is, like, it's just a specially designed. I guess you'd call it, like, a welding torch, but it's a propane and oxygen mix. Oh, okay. So it's, like... Mm -hmm. especially for glass it keeps it clear okay. so it's not like putting any impurities uh -huh. in it or anything so I just honestly need my torch in my two tanks and I don't need mm. any electricity so I could like bring that anywhere That's and like so blow sick. glass outside <laughs> in my vent fan because you know like oh, sure there's some chemicals coming off the yeah. glass so you have to get that right out I but was gonna say yeah do you have to wear like face gear or something I or mean my, you just use the vent my like fan's the... pretty strong okay. so and I just mm -hmm. I stay like far away like I would go close and I'm like oh no you have yeah. to like keep yourself away from it so it is like dangerous in that aspect what is your but... favorite article of jewelry to make I'd have to say these chains now because okay. I yes, do like pendants. So cool. I do love the cherubs because I love uh -huh. sculpting angels and wings, you know, and stuff like that. But I love these because I love making things that I would wear mm -hmm. okay. a lot. And like, I feel like the chains, like I just wear like gold jewelry or mm -hmm. chains. Yeah, like they can so go with anything, I feel like. Everything, And yeah. that's awesome. That's what I like about right? awesome. Like exactly. I like things that can go with everything right? because yes. <laughs> you don't have to think too hard to match. Yeah. Exactly. Just I feel matches. like that's why a lot of people have like one necklace that right. they wear continuously because it just goes everything they're wearing yes. and like that's what your bracelets do. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm so trying to, like it. that's literally what I'm comparing it to is like the gold chains, like how yeah. everyone has their gold chain or yeah. their silver <laughs> chain or something and they don't yeah. take it off. Like Exactly and like the yellow and purple can go perfectly like a gold chain right. or like I have a silver one on so it can like, yeah. Yeah. it matches with anything, like it works. So I have a question, do you have any inspirations with your jewelry? Like so. how do you come up with this? Yeah. I definitely I definitely do so this was the inspiration for these definitely came from like the gold chains but then I have like the cherub that I made yeah and mm -hmm. that comes from just like I mean I'm really inspired by going to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City okay. and going into like the Greek sculpture area okay. and just like seeing how long it took and the time and so I feel like obviously I can't get a big piece of marble <laughs> yeah. to sculpt myself now so this is like my way into it yeah so i am inspired okay. by like sculpture work yeah like that's, that's that awesome. amazing cool. sculpture work wow all right all right we have to take a short break but up next we'll have some more questions with alexis stay tuned guys you've messed up your son's haircut mom do you a try to fix it like it never happened b work with what you got or C, show solidarity. Thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. This is the story of a boy who is very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help, and slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat, ugly, disgusting. The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, and so are you. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Welcome back. We're here with Alexis Barcia, and now we're going to change the speed of the show a little bit, and we're going to ask a little bit more not serious questions. Mind-boggling yeah. questions. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get right into it then. All right, so what is your favorite conspiracy theory and why? 
Okay. So I guess I have to say the flat earth conspiracy theory. Okay, can you I love explain? it. Okay, so I guess personally I got into it because of Antarctica. If you okay. research anything about Antarctica, I don't know, it's just it's a little bit interesting, especially with how many like government control yes. like hands are in Antarctica. And that's interesting. It is. There's like there's a lot of interesting things going on there. And so that just led me on and I guess because we can't really tell. Yeah, like, that's true. That's probably my favorite part about it. It's okay. like unless we get into a spaceship, right? Yeah. Are we gonna really know? And then it's yeah, like, exactly. does it even really matter if it's round or flat? But it's just like a fun one to yeah. contemplate. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. That's Cause then they're like, oh water doesn't water doesn't curve or it would it wouldn't just be like sucked in. Yeah. So it's just it's fun things to think about. Okay. I do like that. But I love Somebody conspiracy was theories. telling me about um, they did someone did an interview with like Kyrie Irving and they yeah. asked him about conspiracy theories and he brought up the flat earth conspiracy theory and people were giving him like a lot about it. They're like, You're wrong, like why are you you're talking crazy. like this? And he just went on a tangent about how when you're in the, when you're on the internet in a conspiracy theory like rabbit hole, there is no escaping it. There is so <laughs> much evidence to back up everything that it makes everything seem so legit and mm -hmm. so real. It's, it's so true, wild. especially with the YouTube videos. Yes. Oh, oh don't make it me start it. Right? Like Illuminati and stuff. <laughs> you can see up till 5 a.m. and you're like, how yeah. does this happen? Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> is Avril Lavigne really is dead? Is someone watching What's this? What's happening? <laughs> is the clone? Are our iPhones safe? The world may yes. never know. Oh, we can go on. I can go on about conspiracy theories, Alexis. Right, that's why we have so I, much fun. I that's know. what we talk about. <laughs> we do. I need to get a job at Chipotle strictly for this reason. Honestly, so, you would have so fun. much fun. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, so this is a com complete 360. So when life gives you lemons, do you make lemonade? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you make lemonade. You add sugar too? You take what you get, you know, and you make the best out of it. Because when life okay. gives you lemons, you need sugar, some water. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you like it sour, lemon water is super straight. healthy. That's true, but it does. Lemonade. My mom's my mom's a dental hygienist. I do oh, have to say that if you drink a lot acid. of yeah, the acid from the lemons, it will eat away the enamel on your teeth. You're right. Just throwing that out there. So I have a would you rather. Okay. This is all so random. All right. Would you rather have Pretty hands on. that kept growing as you got older, or feet that kept growing as you got older? I want to say feet, cause I don't. You want, have like, these huge Imagine feet, doing like. stuff with your hands, and your hands are like all the way over there, and you can't see what you're doing. When you're doing like your art, like know, your like, hands are like you can't control way. your fingers, cause the ends of them are so long. You're just like, how does this? Happen? Wait, that's so funny. Right, it's like a curse. <laughs> you just keep extending. Well, that's what I'm thinking, cause I was like, I would say hands originally, because I my play soccer. My birthday's coming up. Looks yeah. like my hands are growing. <laughs> Could you imagine walking around like size 19, like clown shoe <laughs> shoes 24-7? Oh See, I cannot. I don't you know. You wouldn't be able to say. walk anywhere because your feet would be so big. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, ask the next question. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you had to get rid of one of your senses for an indefinite amount of time, which sense would you get rid of? Okay. Hmm. I feel like smell okay that's, that's what, what that's what Aaron right. said but smell and taste are connected oh, no so, so you get rid you of like, two if and you one. get rid of I mean I don't think you're completely getting rid of it but food definitely you wouldn't get like all the flavor yeah. that food is offering and how do you sense danger you smell it so most of the, like if well, you smell right. like gas or you smell oh, like something true. weird you're like if something's burning, mad I feel like you don't know. yeah yeah what? if you can smell that like oh. if you're blind everyone knows you're blind if you're deaf everyone knows you're blind if nobody you can smell, tell if you can't no one knows mm -hmm. that's why it's, it's just the one. yeah i mean i think if i had to i would get rid of the like your like touch like your feeling yeah I feel like that's yeah. the least useful one that's like a superpower almost too that's true and then if you can like then you won't be able to feel pain. <laughs> yeah. oh is my this going internal this too? Is like oh, oh that's a question right? you're internally bleeding and you're like what is happening to me and everything just by i don't know what i would get rid of yeah, yeah you wouldn't know wow you would never have to take tylenol ever again though that's true you wouldn't feel anything but is that healthy? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Smells the least dangerous. <laughs> All right, so um, I have a question for my fellow Chipotle worker. Okay. Would you rather a bowl, a burrito, or tacos? 
I bowl. Didn't, I didn't you get the most out you, of the bowl. That's true. I feel like You're when right. you go, and you not a lot of people them. get tacos. No. I feel what? like tacos aren't they're very so popular. Messy too. Oh, yeah. No, they're not popular. Yeah, I was saying they were popular. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, I feel like a lot of people don't get tacos yeah, when no. they go. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. I don't work at Chipotle. I don't work at Denny's. I'm not a burrito and technician. So messy. And you don't get a lot in the tacos. And you can save the bowl. You get the most out of your money with the bowls. And then what? Everyone asks, they're like, can I get some extra rice? Can I get some extra beans? Yeah. You can fit that all in there. Yes, <laughs> that's true. You're right. <laughs> okay, so if you could be a genius about one topic okay. and you had to teach it to people, what would that one topic be that you knew everything about? Definitely like philosophy hmm. or like spirituality. That's a good one for you. Definitely. Because mm -hmm. that's just like all encompassing and it's like the most helpful. That's right? True. Yeah. I'd I say think so. so. I would do like something like cool, like everyone, I'm going to teach everyone how to like make hot wing dip. <laughs> hot wing dip's the best. Thank you. Yeah. I all right. Some of that. Oh, you so good. I'm going to end on that note. Um, <laughs> So we have to take another break, but stay tuned because up next, we're going to challenge Alexis to a game of guess and check. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. We couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Alvin and the Chipmunks want to remind you, bacteria can hide in food and make you ill. Wow. But you can keep bacteria from ruining your day with four simple steps. Clean. I'm waiting for the ring cycle. Separate. <laughs> cook. Fire in the hole. And chill. We Chipmunks are notoriously tidy. Check your steps. The road trip to food safety starts at foodsafety.gov. Of all the things you've done with your bike, donating it to Goodwill may be the most incredible of all. Your donations help fund job placement and training for people in your community, which means your stuff can be more powerful than you think. Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Welcome back. Tonight, we are going to play a game called Guess and Check. In this game, two teams of two will go against each other in a game of blindfolded Pictionary. The artist will be blindfolded, and their team has to guess what they are drawing. Uh, the first team to guess correctly uh, will get a point. So the first team to five wins, or ten, however much time we have. That's basically how we'll do that. We'll roll with it. Yes. And so as you can see, me and Alexis are on one team, hence the double A. And then you have to be wondering who the N is in E and N. So Nicolo Manzo, our station manager, is going to be on Aaron's team. There's no one better. OK. Here we go. All right. So, so, do you have any team name or is E and N good? You kind of put me on the spot, and uh, that's a little weak, but we'll roll with it. Okay, perfect. All right, let's get it. All right, so Aaron, you can't see it. Don't look. I'm, I'm. Don't cheat. I'm not a cheater. Are All you? right, go ahead. So, Aaron's going to pick something out <laughs> of the hat, and then her and Alexis are going to look at it, and then me and Nicolo have 30 seconds to guess what they're drawing blindfold. All right, cool. All okay, right. ready? All right. Mix it up a little bit. Okay, do you know what that is? Okay. All right, All right. let's get it. Markers steady, mm -hmm. ready, set, draw. A dog. A cat? No. A dinosaur. <gasps> is it a cat? Or am I supposed to keep going? Yeah, it's a cat. Is it a cat? Oh, sick. What's always saying it's a cat? I'm over here trying to. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I am All right, All right, let's move on. Okay, I go mean, ahead, pick one. Aaron, you're I feel so bad for the poor thing. It's got a. Oh, it's 
Mom. Its mouth is <laughs> hanging. Okay. Okay, let me put, right, let me, right, let me right, put right. my double. So now, Aaron, here, you take this. Nicola, would you like to pick no, out? No, Nicola, you have to see what it is. What? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah well, you have to I hold do. it. Okay. I do indeed. Okay, I have to pick now? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Who is picking? Me or who? Uh, let's pick anyone. Well, you guess can. first. Let the guess pick. Okay, go ahead. No, you can see now. No, no, they can't. No, no, you and me. So you and I have to pick. All right, I'm confused. All right. Let me see it, though. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I guess. Let's get Should it. I have the marker? Okay, ready? Okay. The marker wait, wait, ready. hold on. Let me make sure this is fair so I can't see anything. Okay, ready? Uh, wait a second. Here you go. Okay, I can't see anything. Okay, right. ready? Is it set? Oh. Go. <clears throat> a line. A penguin. Smile. Happy a face. Bird. Mouth. Teeth. There you go. Mouth. Yes. What was that, Nicola? <laughs> I tried to do it like a whip. You killed <laughs> What was that? Uh, you see it right here. It's like. Like it's like a mouth, you see it? Like <laughs> no, right here. It's like, fine art. like right it's there, see it's right. like <laughs> Okay, good job. Okay. All right, here you go. It was a mouth. Um, Whatever. Ashlyn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. I'm, I'm erasing my mask. You did good. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. You go ahead, pick. I can't look. Okay. Ooh. Oof. Okay, here okay. we go. Oof. Oh, oh, oof. I like to see All that. right, Nicolo, right. please get this. Ready? Yeah, okay. Here we, go. here we go. Set. Please draw something good. Draw. Box. No. A present? A purse. A bag? A, a, a handbag. A shopping a, bag? Come on. A reusable Come on. grocery We're bag. Going somewhere, so a we bag. Gotta... Okay, bag? We, okay. Binky? Oh, Is it a binky? A bag? bag? A bag of chips. <laughs> no. A popcorn bag. All right, we're going to start a whole new drawing. A box. A book bag? A bag. Okay. A tote bag. Mm -hmm. A no. duffel bag. Come on. That's a tote. A duffel bag. We're going really... somewhere, and we have to pack. A shopping bag. We have to pack ways. A snack bag. No, All right, the one. time's over. It was a oh. suitcase. That's not a suitcase. What's the kind of oh, suitcase yeah. like that? I'm trying to grab business guy with a tote bag. That's a little like. <laughs> this is my plane. That's a little. You I thought that was a booty. We have a time. Like we have to draw. You started drawing, <laughs> you <start> drawing <laughs> like we, like. I wasn't sure what this was supposed to be, so it looked like you were drawing like suitcase. letters at first because it started off as an L. Bag, I was like, are we going to have a suitcase? Right. I don't even know. Was it a suitcase? That wasn't a Honestly, suitcase. All right. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Am I picking okay, on this time? Sure. Yeah, yeah it's all you, Nico. Okay, let me see here. Let me get my double headband up here. <laughs> okay. Okay, I mean. Okay, um, ready? Wait, where's my marker? Oh, God. Nico. Okay, here we go. Okay, give me the marker, please. Here you go. Okay, thanks. All right, ready, set, go. A hand. A penguin. penguin. Foot. Toe. <laughs> shoe. A pineapple. Boot. They, they got it already. Feet. She said it. Legs. There you go. Yes. What was it? Feet. Feet. Why are you guys good <laughs> at this? That was not a foot. You're into like just drawing like you're, the you're one body the one part. Thing. I'm drawing no, the you know, thing and putting an arrow to it. it looks, okay. It looks like Africa. <laughs> What is that? I thought it was a penguin. No, that looks a little like Africa. That is not like a penguin. What kind of penguins are you looking at? <laughs> Here, Ashley. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, do we have a score? Like, you guys are winning by three or something. Three yeah, or it's four. Three yeah, we're zero. getting killed here, basically. <laughs> no, thank you. We're getting killed. Yeah. Okay, 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 here we go. <laughs> All right, so I think this might be our last round. Also, we can't okay. win. Okay. Perfect. All right, go ahead. What if we do this round is worth, like, a thousand points? Sure. All right, okay. let's get I like it. that. Me too. Oh, well, somebody. Oh. What have you picked? Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I get nervous. Oh, I think You're I saw good. that. Put it back. I have no idea what that is. I think I saw it. Put it back. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Should we pick well, another no, one? Just come on. All right, go we're going to do that. Okay. Sorry. All right. Ready? Please get this. Okay, Set. Try. Draw. Okay. A pencil. Yes! <laughs> what? What did you even do? Oh, you did that quick. <laughs> My pencil. <laughs> I'm so excited to get a thousand <laughs> points. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yes. This always happens to me. Okay. Oh my I'm goodness. All right. Wait, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Whatever. You be That's all speed. we have for today's yeah. show. We would like to thank our guest, Alexis Barcia, for joining us tonight. <laughs> Alexis, where can we find your stuff? AlexisBarcia, Etsy.com. Be sure to like TV Marywood on Facebook and follow Marywood After Dark on Twitter for updates on our show. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Be careful after dark. Yay!